Good morning all and greetings from the allotment. After yesterday's uh, bit of tidying up, it gave me the inspiration to come back and uh, do a bit more. So, what am I going to be doing today? I'm going in the netted enclosure and this time I've, uh, I'm going to sort out all the weeds, the old, the, the plants what I've, um, well I've already started on it to be honest, the, the leeks, uh, uh, well half of them had bolted um, so I've, I've, I took all the leeks out, I've got a pile down here uh, but basically I've got to tidy it all up um, all around the strawberries that are in there and uh, just get it ready and just uh, I just want to start tidying up while it's, uh, the weather's not too bad. It's a forecast dry day today, so I've got an hour down here this morning. I don't know what it is now. It's a uh, look at the time. It's, uh, I've been up for about a quarter of an hour. It's uh, quarter to nine now. Still a bit on the dark side. Um, so yeah, I'm going to crack on and uh, see how things go. So let me bring the tripod round and you can see where I'm going to be working. You can watch me. There you are folks. I've just got to get this tripod. I think that will probably be about right for where I'm going to be initially working. Get my gloves. Right. Oh, does help if I can see myself on the screen, doesn't it, folks? <laughs> there we are. Right. So, basically, what I've done, I've tidied up this bed here, got all the leaks out. And on this one, we've, we've, we had the leaks what had bolted in here, and we've actually got lots of, um, of grass and different weeds what are growing. So I've got to just uh, uh, get these out and try and get the bed as tidy as I can. I've got a little bucket here that helps me uh, come in. Now I know some of you probably use um, hose and what have you. You know what? This is one of my best tools, a trowel. I, I just love getting on my knees and just getting the feel of the soil through my gloves. Well, quite often I forget the gloves. If you're feeling a bit um, fed up with the weather, there's nothing better and getting stuck into your allotment, to your garden, well, I'd say allotment really, because you know there's other people walking around and going to be taking notice and that, and uh, it just gives you that encouragement to uh, crack on and, uh, and get it tidy, we're ready for the new growing season. And I say new growing season, it, hasn't it been a strange winter? Everything's, um, you know, everything's gone to pot, we've got you know, buds, you've got blossoms, you've got, uh, got, I've got daffodils nearly out at home. I know they're already out down south. Um, yeah. You'll have to excuse me if you can see my bum. I can't do much about that. It's trousers these days they uh, they don't make them long enough do they all these hipsters and that you know and you don't get them what go right up your, uh, up your back They never stop growing, do they, weeds?
off home. That's another one done. Just got to check my phone. Just had a message come through. Just a quick peep. Must be the wrong phone. <laughs> I know it's Sunday, but I'm expecting some deliveries today, some presents, what I've ordered. Let's have a look. Isn't it good, eh, when you get a notification? Just let me know that there's going to be a delivery between 9 and 10. Right, I'm going to put it on there. Pause for the moment. Okay, folks, um, I've managed to get these four beds done here. Can you see that? Now that's the side what I'm going to do next. So, what shall we do? Shall we? You know, I'll come back in a minute when I've done it, but I'll leave that image with you. I'm going to leave the camera where it is and I'll record. In a, in a few minutes. Well, that's it, folks. Another little job done. Nine beds weeded and got ready. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven with strawberries in here, two empty ones. Um, so we'll have to see. See how they all go. But these are all the runners from my allotment this year. And these are the ones where I snipped off the mother plant before letting them root. And they've all taken, well, they might be the odd one. But that's all it is, the odd one. I think we had 12 plants in, uh, hang on, let me just come round here. I don't know if can, let me just hire it up a little. Uh, hoping you can see me. In each of these beds I originally planted 12 strawberry plants as it 12, 12 runners but as it happens some of those runners actually produce runners as well so for instance this plant here this bed here I can see it's got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. it's got 20 plants in there this one here is pretty well about right 12, 3, 6, 9, 12 this one 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We lost a couple in that one. That one I don't think was a full one anyway, but that's got uh, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's got 11 in there. And then we've got, we've got extras in this one here. Well, oh, no, we haven't. There's actually 12 in there, but they're not uh, been put in as I normally put them in, some of them have grown extra ones and have lost some, so that's all okay. I've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I've got thirteen in there. So each bed has got, works out, it's got a full twelve, so twelve, thirty-six, forty-eight, sixty, seventy-two. There's eighty-four plants in here. Uh, I don't really expect to get many, if any, strawberries off them this year because they're new plants. What I will do is I'll show you, I mean I haven't gone through these beds, well they've been gone through several times but so many leaves came off the trees and branches and that, they're all covered up again and, and, and the weeds have grown back, but I will show you it. Okay folks, these are another lot of strawberries, now you can see I've got to go through all these and, and clear the leaves out and the yellow. I've got to clear all the yellow and brown leaves, get those all off, so that's another job. Um, there's another 60, no, yeah, there's about another 60 plants here. Plus the, some of the runners, what I've gone in between. So there's probably, there might very well be more. But I need to get those sorted, but there's no rush. I, do, I don't think I'm going to have time this morning. And then... What's that bring? That brings us to what? About 140 plants. 
And then we've got all these here what I need to go through again. So there's about another 36 here. So I guess I've got about 175 strawberry plants. Oh, plus the 20 in the polyton, 195. So you could say about 200 plants at the allotment here. So not as many as I used to. I used to have about 500. So that's, so that's all the, the strawberries and the weed in. Um, the daily, as you can see, have died back down here. I really need to sort that out as well. And I'm not sure what happens with the wasps during the winter. Do they, do they die off? Do they hibernate? I don't know, perhaps you can tell me. Should I spray in that hole where they had the nest? Give it another spray? There's none obviously flying around now. I don't know. I, I, I can't go over another season like last year where I was, because I got stung and, you know, I was, I was so worried about coming around this area and it's my joy, the flower area. Okay, I've just been called to tell, they've just told me that the coffee's ready. So I'm going to call it a day for today from, from the allotment. I hope you enjoyed this little update and it's inspired you to do a bit on the plot. Okay, bye.